Hello and welcome to another video on laboratory techniques produced by the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill iGEM Team 2015. Today we're going to be discussing 3A assembly and how this procedure can be carried out to create DNA constructs. The 3A assembly technique, so called because of the three antibiotics used during assembly, was formulated by Randy Redberg and implemented by Reshma Shetty. Each biobrick part consists of five main parts, the restriction enzyme prefix and suffix, the part of interest, an antibiotic resistance gene, and a vector that holds it all together. By having a prefix and suffix sequence of restriction enzyme cleavage sites flanking DNA in a plasmid, it is possible to cleave out that DNA and transfer it into another vector. The three restriction enzyme cleavages can be carried out at the same time, highlighting 3A assembly's main benefit. It's fast. Not only that, but gel purification is not needed due to antibiotic resistance selection of transformation colonies. Make sure all components are kept on ice. Add 500 nanograms of each DNA plasmid to three separate 0.2 milliliter tubes and add USP water to a total volume of 43 microliters. Add five microliters of 10x restriction enzyme reaction buffer to each mix. Add one microliter of each appropriate restriction enzyme to a tube. For the upstream part, this will be EcoR1 and SP1. For downstream parts, the restriction enzymes are EXPA1 and PST1 and the vector is cleaved with EcoR1 and PST1. Mix the tubes gently and place them within a 37 degree Celsius incubator for 30 minutes. After incubation, heat and activate the enzymes by using a thermocycler to incubate the mixtures at 80 degrees Celsius. A water bath may also be used instead. Samples may be stored at this point at negative 20 degrees Celsius if need be. To ligate, add 2 microliters of each of the 3 digestion mixtures to 11 microliters of water in a clean 0.2 milliliter tube. Add 2 microliters of 10x T4 DNA ligase reaction buffer and 1 microliter of T4 DNA ligase. Incubate at room temperature for 30 minutes and then heat and activate at 80 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. At this point, 3A assembly is complete. You can now transform competent cells and antibiotic containing media and see the results of your newly constructed part. Now that you understand 3A assembly, you are one step closer to mastering the laboratory. Go forth and discover.